Uh, I wasn't gonna make a video today, but uh, somebody's got to know where the fuck Ryan Laundry is, dude. Hey, someone, somebody's helping him. So I got fifty thousand dollars to add to the twenty thousand dollars that the law firm is gonna give away for whoever helps the FBI and snitches on this motherfucker to where they can go pick his ugly ass up. $50,000. Go find Brian fucking Laundry's ugly ass. Listen, this is some real deal information, probably. It could be, so I'm putting it out here. Apparently, this was posted on Brian Laundry's story. Okay? Now, listen, I don't know if he's on there or if it's somebody else, but I am going to say this. Whoever took this story is standing up. And obviously, there's a TV in front of him that's off because you can see the reflection in the background. But watch this. When you move in, click this. Pull it down. Wait. Shit. Pull it down. Dude. Plain as day. Ear, eyeball, eyeball, nose, mouth, dark eyebrows, and his hair. There's a dude's ear. He has some big ass ears. So then I started looking up vehicles that have like wood grain and old CRT TVs in them. And I found something that's similar, you know, make and model. This is a used 1994 Itasca by Winnebago. And if you notice, look, it's at a slightly bit different angle. I'm not saying this is the person, but I'm saying this is the kind of vehicle. Look, rearview mirror, here's that glare that you've seen because they were standing on the other side. So the glare would have been, you know, a little closer to the corner right here from the door being open. See, look at this. So after doing some looking, I found out, you know, where the family who was vlogging and seen his van, I found where that was, and then I found where the area where her body was found. All right, so check this out. Grand Teton National Park. Here's where it was found. But if you zoom in and go right down the road, 50 motherfucking feet, here's a bunch of fucking RVs camping out. So, yeah. Could there have been a third person? Did he give someone his phone? Maybe? What if he went there and someone already there knew he was coming there, but she didn't? And he had another phone or logged into his Facebook with somebody else's phone that was obviously right down the road in an RV. I mean, that doesn't... Dude, even if somebody did hack his account, Unless you were around this place right here, how would you know to even post some shit like that? You would have to have been in on it. All right, so I found the video where the family was driving down the dirt road where they found her uh, van at. But look at this. Right, when they come around the corner. Oh, all right, look. Door. Door propped open. Door propped open. Still propped open. Notices the car coming. Watch this. Door shut. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Somebody was in the van. They got in the van. Or they were about to step out of the van and leave. And when they were, they seen the other car coming. So they went to scoop back in. And that's why you see one flip flop on the ground. Keep in mind, if you watched my video before, where that van is, is right down the street where all those RVs were. Grand Canyon. Grand Teton National Park. Yeah, that's extremely far away to be tagged in the same thing as Grand Teton National Park. From point A to point B is 10 hours and 45 minutes. In a car, 655 miles. All right, so look, I went on Instagram, and I did hashtag Grand Teton, or however you say it, National Park. And I scrolled through hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pictures. So I started screenshotting a lot of shit that looked odd to me. Anything that was, like, in the same area, same time frame. Anything from, like, September 5th to September 11th. So then I'm looking through the top post of hashtag Grand Teton National Park, and I see a picture... It shows up in the top post 
But it, now it doesn't say that. It says it's tagged the Grand Canyon, which is 10 hours away. But look at the date at the bottom of the picture. But if you go to the timeline that everybody's been drawing out, there's a gap between September 1st and September 11th. September 1st, Brian returns home. September 11th, Gabby reported missing. So the same profile that I found under the Grand Teton National Park hashtags, the top hashtags, that had the Grand Canyon that is almost 11 hours away tagged in their picture, also posted a picture saying that they were in Antelope Canyon. Guess when? September 11th. The same day Gabby Petito was reported missing. Now, do you remember the video that surfaced that said Brian went live and he was on a boat? Another rumor floating around that he appeared on Instagram Live accidentally for two to three seconds and viewers saw water as if he were on a boat. And that's the real reason why the FBI called off the investigation in the Florida Wildlife Refuge. Now, hold on, hold on. Let me show you what Antelope Canyon looks like. This is Antelope Canyon. Look at all this water. Everywhere. And look, how convenient. An airport. Not only that, dude. Listen to this. When Gabby Petito was reported missing on September 11th, from September 11th and backwards, this Instagram account, they're not covering their face at all. And they're in hospitals and everything. From September 11th, Forward on this Instagram that I found, they're either wearing a corona mask or they're not even looking at the camera. So you mean to tell me this person a couple months ago is not wearing a mask nowhere, not covering their face nowhere, not even in a hospital. Shit, they weren't even covering their face or, or avoiding the camera on September 8th when they were up there where they were at... Grand Tentino National Park, whatever it's called. But now they're outside at another park wearing a mask and not looking at the camera. That's weird. So I was like, what the fuck? He's going live. They still ain't found him. Weird. They were in the same national park around the same time. The van was found down the street from a bunch of RVs. Well, earlier this morning, I found the post where apparently Brian Laundry posted a story on his Facebook and that Facebook was linked to his Instagram, which are both missing now. And listen, bro, you can say whatever you want. Oh, no, he got hacked. Oh, that was fake. I don't give a shit. It was hooked to that. And guess what? That picture was taken inside of an RV, and RVs were right down the street. When I was looking at the story that was posted on Brian Laundry's Facebook, I zoomed in to the TV that's off that is in the RV. And I said, bro, that looks like there's a face in that mug. All right, bear with me. Nose hole, nose hole. Shape of nose, right here. Eyeball, eyeball. Dark, short hairline, right here. Area where his mouth is. Now watch when I erase everything. Hang on. Yeah. Then I went to... The, this mysterious person's Instagram we're talking about right now. And I start skimming through his pictures and screenshotting his pictures. So then I put the face that's in the TV, in the RV, that was on Brian Laundry's Facebook. And I take this mysterious guy's face and put them side by side. What the fuck, dude? My fucking brain hurts, all right? I'm not going to tell everybody what this Instagram is because I could be fucking wrong. If the FBI sees this, please don't kick up my door because if you do, my old lady's going to kick my fucking ass because I've been awake all night doing this shit. If you need to contact me, I am totally cool. I will show you every fucking thing that I just learned and just looked up. It could mean something. It could mean nothing at all. I just think it's very fucking odd. <laughs> all right. You motherfuckers think I'm crazy after this? Something's fucking wrong with y'all. So remember earlier when I took the face out of the fucking TV screen inside the RV and I matched it with another guy's face that I went searching for under the hashtag of Grantino National Park? Yeah, you remember that, asshole? 
Do you remember how far away Grand Tineo National Park was from the Grand Canyon? Ten fucking hours, right? Yeah, asshole. Grand Canyon National Park, which is where I got that picture from of the guy and matched it to the RV face, is only five hours and 59 minutes away from Yucca Valley, California. Well, guess what happened in Yucca Valley, California on June 28th? This is Lauren Cho. Lauren Cho was last seen on June 28th, walking away from a home she had been staying at in Yucca Valley, California. This is Lauren Cho. So when I looked at that weird Instagram this morning that had a hashtag and it was tagging the Grand Canyon for no fucking reason, and I matched a face to what I seen in the TV screen, everybody's like, oh no, you should go to fucking bed. Well, good thing I fucking did. I just showed y'all the male's face this morning. Now I'm going to show you the female face that's on the same fucking Instagram. Hell, I'll put them side by side for you. The woman on the left is missing, still. The woman on the right is on the same Instagram as the dude is. Oh, what is that? Double, triple, coinky dink? Yeah, fuck you. This case has maintained at the top of national news headlines. And as of this morning, Calvin Lewis from Fox 4 Now shared to his Twitter that the Northport police advised the search for laundry is being scaled back at the Carlton Reserve and that the search will become more focused.